Now let us look at the question number 25 and you can see this question number 25 is from algorithms. They are saying a text is made of the characters which is A, B, C, D and E each occurring with the probability of 0 0.08, 0 0.04, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.15 and 0 0.12 respectively. Now the optimal coding technique will have the average length of which of the following. Now let us understand what this problem is saying. Let us assume that we have a document here. Now in this document, we have a total of 100 characters. Okay. Now out of all these 100 characters, the character A which is occurring 100 multiplied by 0 0.08, it is occurring uh, approximately 8 times. Okay. Now the character B is occurring uh, 100 multiplied by 0 0.04. 0 0.440 which is approximately 40 times so character b is coming 40 times in the document now we have character c which is coming 25 times in the document that's, that you can see here 25 times in the document and the character d is coming 15 times which is 100 multiplied by 0 0.15 which is 15 times and we have the character e which is occurring uh, 0 0.12 that is approximately 12 times. So these are the total number of times a character is occurring in the documents. Okay. Now if you are going to send this document, if you are going to send this document uh, via the simple coding technique, let us assume that we are going to use the SCI codes to send the same document. Okay. If you are going to use the SCI code, in that case, you are going to take 8 characters to represent every, 8 uh, bits to represent every character. So you know that in case of SCI code, we use 8 bit to represent one character. Okay. And we know the SCI code for capital A is 65, right? That if you convert in binary, that is converted into 8 bits of character. Now, if capital A is coming 8 times, so total number of bits that will be required to represent capital A is 8 into 8 bits, which is equal to 64 bits. So you need 64 bits to represent capital A in the document. Uh, for character B, so you need 8 into 40, which is approximately 320 bits uh, to represent the character B. And the character C, you need 8 into 25, uh, which is approximately 200 bits to represent the character C. We have character D, so it is coming 15 times, so that is 8 into 15. So you will be requiring 120 bits to represent the character D. And for character E, you will be require, requiring 8 into 12 which is approximately 96 times or you can say 96 bits to represent the character D. Okay. Now the total number of bits that will be requiring you just have to add all these bits. Okay. So that will be 64 plus 320 plus 200 plus 120 plus 96. So that will be 64 plus 320 plus 200 plus 120 plus 96. So this sum comes out to be 800 bits. Okay. So if you convert these 800 bits into bytes, so divide by 8, so this is going to be 100 bytes. So this entire document where we are just sending 100 characters, so that will be a total of 8 100 bytes to send. So in the same way, if the size of the document, if the document is containing approximately 1000 characters, in that case, the size of the document will be equal to 1000 bytes or which is equal to approximately very close to 1 MB or oh, sorry 1 KB so the document will be of 1 KB just to store these characters now a part of this you are going to add some extra informations according to the type format that you are going to use but my question is can you do something better can you minimize the size of the document so why, why it is necessary why it is so important let us assume that uh, you are sending a message this is your this is you and you are sending a message from India to let us see Canada okay so your girlfriend is in Canada right now if you are sending a message from India to Canada that way the communication is very cheap so communication is very cheap because today we have a high-end speed broadband connections so sending a message from India to Canada is very very cheap comparatively but let us say you this is you uh, you are sitting in India or you can say you are sitting on earth and uh, some of your friends maybe some astronaut he is there in the moon or he is there in the mars okay now when you are sending a message from earth to mars or earth to moon in that case 
uh, sending even a very small document that will be very cumbersome because that is going to take a lot of time because the internet speed or the connection speed is going to be very slow over there right so that is why uh, the transmission bits will be low so not just this case let us say the document size is very huge if let us say i'm sending a document which is of 1 gb okay now 1 gb file sending even from india to canada or even on the earth sending 1 gb file from one location to another location that is going to take quite some time but is there any way by which we can compress the size of the document without losing any information so my question is can you compress can you compress the size of a document it is not just about the size of the document you can compress the size of any uh, let us say file which can be any video file which can be any audio file or any file itself can you compress the size of a file of a file so that if you send the, the same document to the receiver there will be no loss of quality whatsoever and at the same time uh, there will be no loss of information whatsoever can you do that and answer is yes we can do that so there are various uh, optimal coding techniques for this that we use and one of those optimal coding technique is the huffman code there is a huffman code so what does huffman code says that instead of using the same number of bits to represent every character you, you can use the variable number of bits to represent the characters variable number of bits so in our case what we are doing is for character a i'm representing 8 bits 1 a can be represented by 8, by 8 bits 1 b can be represented by 8 bits 1 c can be represented by 8 bits in the same way every character i'm representing by 8 bits now instead of doing this can we create some code in such a way that to represent a character whether it can be uh, the character b we can just use one or two bits to represent b in the same way to represent d we can just use one or two bits to represent d and so on so if you can do something like this then we can drastically remove or drastically improve uh, the size of the document or you can say drastically compress the size of the document now here just to send 100 characters we sent 100 bytes of information right now let me try to solve the same problem let me try to send the document but where the total size of the document can be much smaller as compared to before okay so the information that we have is uh, we are going to assume that we have 100 uh, characters that we are going to send and we have the characters a b c d and e and we assume that uh, if uh, we are going to have we are going to send 100 characters now character a will be coming eight times character b will be coming 40 times character c will be coming 25 times character d will be coming 15 times and character e will be coming 12 times okay now for this we have to solve it by using huffman code but there are two ways of solving the huffman code either we can use the min heap min heap or we can just use sorting techniques to sort it so anyways they are not asking the efficient way to create a huffman code tree uh, so they are just asking whether you know Huffman coding or not. So I'm just going to use the sorting technique here. Okay. So the first step is sort all the data. Okay. So if you are going to sort this data, so what will happen? The so minimum data is A. So A is coming 12 times. Then we have E, which is coming 12. It is A is coming 8 times. E is coming 12 times. D is coming 15 times. C is coming 25 times. And B is coming 40 times. So the minimum two here is A and E. So I'm going to create a tree here where I'm going to add A, which is coming eight times, and I'm going to add E, which is coming 12 times. So total their frequency is going to be eight plus 12, that is 20 times. So we have character A and E that are coming 20 times. Now, this data will be updated now because we combined A and E, both of them are coming 20 times. We have character D, which is coming 15 times character c which is coming 25 times and character b which is coming 40 times okay now remember that the minimum data that we have here is we added on the left hand side now guys uh, for solving this question you should know the huffman code if if you have not gone through my video of huffman code uh, please go through that because i'm assuming that you already have some knowledge regarding the huffman code here okay now uh, the next minimum data is d so i'm i'm going to take one more node here and on the left hand side i'm going to add d which is having the frequency 15 and on the right hand side i'm going to add this tree so it is representing a and e which are having the frequency 20 and we have a here which is 8 and e here which is 
12. Okay. So total uh, the frequency of A, E and D is going to be 25. Correct. So 35. So that is 15 plus 20 is 35. Now I'm just going to use the same data here. So this is going to be A, E and D. The total frequency is 35. For frequency of C is 25 and for frequency of B is 40. Okay. Now again here C is the minimum data. So here uh, again I'm going to create a node. On the left hand side I'm going to add C with the frequency 25. On the right hand side I'm going to add A, E, D which is having frequency 35. So this node is representing A, E, D and C. So total frequency is 35 plus 25 which is 60. Okay. So the last uh, here is B which is 40. So I'm just going to add B here with the frequency 40. And uh, so this node is representing all the characters. So total frequency is 100. Now you can see here I've created a tree. Uh, in, in this tree I'm just going to assign some values. To all the left nodes I'm going to all the left uh, edges I'm going to assign the value which is 0. On the right I'm going to assign 1. So on the left 0, right 1. Left 0, right 1. Left 0 and right 1. So what does this mean? It means that if I'm going to represent the character B. So for this I just have to write a single 0 in the document. So whenever in the document B is going to be there so I'm going to write single 0. Now if I want to represent C. Now for C I'm going to write 1 0. So that is why I got 1 0. Just follow this path uh, for 1 0. I'm just following this path. So just follow the path and the, uh, the bits that you are getting they will be used to represent that particular character. Now for let us say we want to represent D. Now for D I'm going to represent 1 1 0. So this is 1 1 and 0. And then uh, let us say I'm going to represent capital A. For A I'm going to use 1 1 1 0. So 1 1 1 0. And for E I'm going to use 1 1 1 1. So these are the uh, number of bits I'm going to represent uh, in the same question. Now let us say in my document uh, B is coming 40 times. Okay. Now because for representing B I'm only using one bit of information. So there will be only 40 bits that we are going to use to represent B. If C is coming as you can see C is coming 25 times. So for C I'm representing two bits of information. So for C I'm going to use 50 bits. Okay. Now for D. Uh, to send the data D because D is coming 15 times. So for sending D I'm going to use three bits of information. So that is 45 bits. Okay. In the same way if let us say I'm going to use E A. So for A I'm using four bit of information. The frequency is 8. So for sending A we are going to use 32 bits and for sending E uh, I'm going to use four bits. So the frequency will be uh, so it is coming 12 times. So it is going to be uh, 48 bits of information. If you just add all these informations then what is the total sum that you are going to get? So A plus E is 80 plus uh, for representing B you are going to use 40 bits plus for representing C you are going to use 50 bits plus for representing D you are going to use 45 bits. So the total sum is going to be 165 plus 50 which is uh, 165 plus 50 is 100, 200 uh, 15, I think 215 bits. Okay, so earlier we were using 800 bit of information. As you can see, earlier we were using 800 bit of information to send the same document. But now instead of sending 800 bit, I'm just going to send 215 bit of information to send the document. That means I compressed the size of the document nearly by four times. Uh, it means that uh, let us say in a document, if you have uh, 1000 uh, uh, characters and the size of the document is around 1 KB. Now instead of sending 1 KB file, you are just going to send 250 uh, bytes, which is around 4 times compression. So compression is 4 times, correct? Now because compression is 4 times, so obviously this becomes very easy now, right? And uh, it will be very easy to send the same file. Now you know the number of bits to represent the characters for every, uh, uh, number of, uh, to represent every character. Now if you are going to find the what is the optimal coding technique that will have the average length of. Now we have to find what is the average length that we are going to use. Now here be cautious that we are not going to use average length by using this. We are going to use the average length by the total number of bits that we are going to represent. Okay. So uh, here uh, if we have 215 bits as you know for representing 100 uh, 
characters, a file of 100 characters, so the size is going to be 2.15. So average length of one uh, uh, one character will be 2.15 bits, which is much lower as compared to before because earlier the average length was of 8 bits, but now we are using the average length of 2.15 bits, which is a lot, a lot compression as compared to before. Okay. Now let us look at the question number 25 and I hope that you enjoyed and solved, understood this question. So we'll go to the next question now.